Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video now, I'm going to work with the register form. Right now, as you can see, I have made some changes. I have installed the Tidal CSS, so you can go to tidewind.com, tidewindcss.com, and if I go here, go to Installation Framework Guides, and we have Vite here, using View, and yeah, install. Tiny CSS, post CSS, auto prefixer, then you need the tiny CSS on the tidyun.config, add the content like this or update the content, and then create a style.css file, paste the tidyun base components and utilities there, and you are okay. Now I'm going to open the project which looks like this. Let's open the VS Code. And in the app.view, I have added some classes here, as you can see. You can pause the video and uh, copy the, class, the classes, but I'm going to show you very quickly. Then I have added a div here for the login and register, just to move right here. And when you go to register, yeah, we have something like this. Okay. I'm going to close this now and let's go and work with the register form. And also I have opened here the flow byte as you can see. And I'm going to copy this form here. I'm going to copy that and paste it right here. So let's say or just put the form. I'm going to save and if I come here, yeah, we have the form. Now we need to make some changes. Let's start. Let's start with the uh, register here, which I'm going to add some classes. So let's say text uh, 3xl, and I'm going to say text uh, slate 200, like this. Okay, I think we are good. Also, let's say padding of 4. But now let's work with the form. Here on the form, I'm going to add some classes also. I'm going to say uh, padding of 4, BG white, rounded large, shadow, and on the dark BG gray 800. And let's see. Yeah, now we have more nicer form. Then I'm going to copy this and duplicate. Let me just paste it right, right here. This one is going to be for the, let's say, for the name. So name, and instead of your name, I prefer to have just name here. I'm, I'm going to remove the placeholder, or we can say name here. So let's say name, remove the required, and here email, and also remove the required right here. We have a password and we need the password confirmation. So let me just say password confirmation right here. Okay. Password confirmation. Good. Also, I'm going to remove the required and the uh, label and so on i'm going to change for the password confirmation not in here in here i'm going to leave it like this then remove this div for the remembering me and i think we are okay yeah it's going to look like this let's change also your password here to just password which is just a preference and I think we are okay now also if I open the table plus we have only one user right now which is okay now let's work with the script first what I'm going to do I'm going to go in the source directory and create a new file which is going to be inside the lib directory and the name of the file is going to be axios.ts and here I'm going to import Axios. I'm going to customize the Axios here. And then 
let's say, const instance of, uh, or let's say, Axios instance to be Axios create. And here I'm going to pass the base URL, which is going to be the HTTP uh, localhost, not 3000, but 8000. And uh, I'm going to add also the slash API. So we don't need for every request to add this API. Next, what we need to add is this with credentials and also with access RF token. So let's do that. Let's say with credentials to true and also access RF token to be true. And Let's leave it like this for now. We are okay. Let's come here. And instead of something like this, we're going to import. Uh, first, we need to export here the Axios instance. So default export. Save, close this, and now import from add slash lib slash Axios. Like this. And instead of Axios, here we are going to say access instance okay and i think we are good right now now because this sanctum.csrf token uh, csrf cookie is not in the slash api so first let's remove this register we need to add here because let me leave it like this and just show it to you if I inspect the element, go to the, the network, go to login, go to register, and yeah, for the CSRF cookie, we have 404 not found because we have slash API slash sanctum. And on the backend, if I open the warp, we have sanctum slash CSRF cookie without the API prefix. So let's add in here only in this one the base url to be localhost 8000 without the api and now let me just come here again clean everything let's go to storage delete go to login and if i click on the register now for the csrf cookie we are okay but we have here the response, the email has already been taken, which is okay. Now, let's work with a form. Uh, first, let's come here. Because we use TypeScript, let's create an interface or a type for the interface register form. And we have name, email, password, and password confirmation. Then I'm going to create a const form, which is going to be equal with reactive and pass in form here a register form name email password and password confirmation and i think we are good next for the input let's add the v model form name for this one v model form email for this one v model form password for this one and also uh v model for password confirmation for this one we are okay on the form now we're going to say on submit we're going to call the register pass in here the form and we're going to say submit dot prevent and we need to accept the form here or the payload or data what you like to add in here and then I'm going to remove this console log then here when you say send this post request we can add just the payload okay then yeah, we can just say console log response data or I want only the yeah, let's leave it like this and remove this register now i think we are good yeah 
we have the uh, TypeScript error. So let's say this one is a register for type. And now let's go and see. First, I'm going to op or let's open here the terminal and say artisan migrate fresh. And let's open the table plus refresh. We don't have any user. We'll go to login, clean this. Let's clean also the uh, local host, uh, so the cookies. And if I go to network, go to register now. As you can see, we don't have cookies because we don't make a request to get the Sanctum CSRF token. But when I hit submit, let's go say submit. Yeah, I think with the password, what? Password, password. Yeah, we have a required here, which I want to remove. Okay, come here. And now, yeah, refresh, clean. If I say submit, we make a post request to CSRF cookie, and then for the register, we have the name field is required. The error from the backend, which is expected, but what if I uh, say, for example, Tony, and also here, Tony at email.com, add password, and also password here. I'm going to say submit, and as you can see, we have make a post request to register and we have a 201 response which means if i come here and refresh we have a new user created which is this tony with a tony email.com we worked with the form also we created the interface and the form here and then on the register we just uh, call the cookies and then try cut for the register now we are going to also make changes in the next for the register because we don't need to make the sanctum csr cookie uh, a get request right here we need to get the cookies one time only and then have the cookie there but that is going to be for the next videos that's it all about this video right now. I hope you enjoy and if you like such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.